April 8267. Oh, we can skip this. <laughs> so, we're worried about the soldiers. We decided to ask someone high ranking. The heads of the Shinsugumi seemed like the best people to ask, but they were all still talking in the common room. Perhaps I should wait a bit until they were done. Almost as if on cue, Hijikata-san appeared in the hallway. Oh, uh, hello, Hijikata-san. Oh, I feel a lot better now. あんまり出歩かず部屋でおとなしくしてろうん、I'll be careful. Oh, shoot. It was easy to forget one suffered an insignificant injury when it healed almost completely by morning. I'll go right back to my room, but... Can I ask you something first? What? It's about... Ito and... The people who are leaving with him. How do you feel about all of this? All of that? Well, people who are members of the Shinsengumi won't be. If I were in Hijikata san's shoes, I don't think I could sit still. I'd be so stressed. Either that or I'd blame myself. たとえ仲間だったとしても互いの立場が変わりゃ敵になることもあるただそれだけの話だ今の時代ありふれたことだろうただそれだけの話だ。But what about Sato-san and Hesuke? They had all been captains together. Surely Hijikata-san saw them as friends, at least. Would Hijikata-san be able to brand them as enemies? Just because of their change in alliances? Saito ya Heisuke ka? No, I, I heard that. I heard that one. He said Saito and Heisuke, not Saito and Todo. Hey, line, you're wrong. Tashka ni aitsura o hikinu kareta no wa itade da ga na. Izure uragiru ka mo shirene e yatsura nara. Ima no uchi ni hatairo o akiraka ni shite kureta hou ga tasukaru ってもんだ. How could he be so cold and analytical about his friends? Yet he made sense. If Ito and company were leaving because they were incompatible with the Shinsengumi, then perhaps it was for the best. But was the best thing for the future of the Shinsengumi also the best thing for Hijikata-san? I couldn't understand. After some time had passed, Oh, I would walk through. A, I walked through a hallway. I stopped to notice something. I wonder how they landed all the way in here. Maybe they got snuck in someone's sandal. It was a time of year in which, no matter how often I cleaned, the spring winds seemed to invite invite an endless flow of blossom petals. Watching the blossom petals that were scattered across the floor without a hint of their scent. I couldn't help but remember the ache of the goodbyes shared all those days ago. How was Heske doing? Eating meals without him was so much more quiet. It was almost as if the lanterns were out. I wonder how Saito had been doing too. At first, I'd found him a quite... I found him a little intimidating because he didn't speak often, but... After spending some time with him, I had learned that he actually cares for everyone's well-being, and he had shown me bouts of tender kindness. I, looked for, I took for granted the fact that these men were not always going to be here. I had no idea that it would feel so lonely without them. I shook my head, stopping myself. I can't be thinking like this. There was no doubt in my mind that the other warriors have been feeling even more sadness than I was. Hmm. 
I thought to myself that perhaps occupying my time with cleaning the compounds would put my mind at ease. It was good to start with the common room. I slid the door open casual casually, but then I froze upon seeing the person standing on the other side. The reason being that it was... Yukimura ka? Takeda... My heart was startled by the creepiness of his expression. Yeah. Iba had suggested to me that it was best not to find myself alone with Takeda, if at all possible. He was going to leave the Shinsengumi soon, so I didn't think he would have been in the habit of starting... He would have been in the habit of starting any conflicts on his way out, but... I found him antagonistic time. I found him antagonistic time and time again, so I couldn't help but feel uncomfortable around him. So Really, they have to take away your title for you to not be a threat to me anymore. I highly doubt this. I couldn't really take him up on his word, but it wasn't like I could just pretend he doesn't exist, so I asked him a question while keeping my wits about me. What are you doing here, Takeda? You have memories? I guess Takeda can be sentimental. He looked around the compounds with a somber face, his eyes scanning slowly. あの頃はまさかこうして太陽を出すことになるなど予想すらしていなかったが Takeda looked close to tears, lost in faint memory. Since there were many times that I'd had trouble with him, I had mixed feelings about his departure. But to his credit, But to his credit, I knew that when he came to Kyo, he did so with a head full of dreams about the future. Suddenly, I felt the way I did when Saito and Heisuke left us as well. It was a melancholic feeling to part with people to, who worked beside you day in and day out. As I noticed Takada's eyes thin, I watched as he moved with uncertainty, pacing as if he truly didn't want to leave before turning to face me. With that said, he marched on as if he was pushing all of his feelings aside for the sake of pride. Even though the room was empty again, I felt stuck, unable to move as I contemplated the moment. As evening came, I was returning to my room after having finished organizing the medicine, as was asked of me by, Yam by Yamazaki. Normally around this time, no one could hear the warriors. One could hear the warriors talking amongst one another happily from the common room. But now that there weren't as many warriors left, the compounds were much quieter. Just then, hmm? I thought I saw a shadow at the end of the hallway and I squinted to get a better look. Is that... Takeda? Oh boy... He said he was leaving the compounds today. Was he still here? Did he forget something? He was sort of acting... suspicious. Takeda... Hmm. Takeda seemed to be scanning around, peeking over his shoulder as he tiptoed to make sure his footsteps weren't being heard. His behavior had been very peculiar, if not outright conspicuous. conspicuous. 
conspicuous? Conspicuous. Conspicuous. God damn. So I hid in the shadows and watched him. He was heading towards the very back of the compound. Takara did one final glance to ensure no one had been watching him, and then he disappeared into the room. It was the room in which Sanansan performed his research over the Furies and the Water of Life. Only a select few of the Shinsugumi had known about what went on in that room. Takeda, of course, was not one of those select few, so technically he wasn't permitted to be in there. But why? I gulped and I moved to the front of the room. I cracked the door open just to hear and peered in. Since the sun hadn't set completely, had set yet, I didn't see sun on in the room. I had assumed then he was resting in another. From what I could make out, however, Takeda had been ruffling through drawers and reading documents spread across the room. After searching for a while, he had taken a few of the documents and folded them to place inside his kimono. He grinned with satisfaction, then he turned to slowly walk in my direction. Oh no. Shoot, I must hide. I rushed away from the door. Takara sped out of the room, rushing as if he was trying to make sure he wasn't seen, and then he tried to leave the compounds. Suddenly, Inoue approached him and I could see them exchange a few words. Eventually they ended the conversation, and Takeda bowed to Inoue before leaving. I knew something wasn't right, so I rushed over to Inoue. Inoue? What were you just talking about with Takeda just now? You see... And I told Inoue what I had just witnessed. I don't know. However, I think we should run after him and find out what he took. Inoue gave me a grim look. Ah, shit. Your ankle? Oh, no. It didn't sound. It didn't sound like we would have been able to trail. It didn't sound like we'd been able to tail Takara, even given Inoue's condition. Toshi-san,が戻り次第事情を明かして、手を打ってもらうしかあるまい. I guess that's the only way left. But all of the warriors have been out at the moment, and I didn't know when they would return. I had known that there were numerous other responsibilities, and that it would be hard to get many people on board to follow after him. Besides, I was sure that Takara was on high alert for people coming after him, so... I could see him being able to leave Kyo in time before we could deal with him. So all I could do for now was... Anyway, please let the captains know as soon as they return. That I'll be running after Takara to take care of an important matter. Yukimura-kun? Inoue was confused, but before he could ask, Please, I promise I'll return. With that said, I ran out of the compounds. Um, I think he walked in this direction? And the hues of the sky night sky were growing darker. As the hues of the night sky were growing darker, it was becoming more difficult to distinguish the faces of those passing by. I was going worried that I may lose him completely. But it'll be alright. He had literally just left the compounds, so I was sure he couldn't have gotten too far away. Or at least this is what I had been telling myself as I began to cha my chase. Yeah. 
Eventually. I finally caught sight of him, and I began running after him. Takeda! Please wait! He didn't stop. Rather, he started to jog, moving more quickly. There was no way he couldn't have heard me. I was starting to lose my breath, but I continued running after him. When he finally, when he had finally stopped running, he had been approaching a bridge where I noticed there weren't too many other people around. It seems like he was under the impression that we, if we were to speak alone, he wouldn't be able to get out of it, so he spoke pompously. Well, I had become winded from all the running, so my throat burned and I couldn't string words together well enough to speak. However, Takara didn't seem to notice a thing and he walked towards me. それとも... Ask... Instinctively, I started to back up, but he was closing... He was closing the distance between us. ドボケルナ。新選組には我々幹部大使にすら伏せられていた大きな秘密がある。そしてお前はそれを知っている。Oops. His glare locked with my eyes and my entire body had started to freeze up. No. I couldn't let him read into my panic. I was doing my best to steady my resolve and I suppressed and I suppressed my quivering voice. It's not like that. Takara looked as if he couldn't be convinced, and he continued moving closer to me. ケンの腕もないお前が文服相応に体内で徴用されている事実。そして松本良人と言ったか。あの乱法医が頓所に来た時、何やら怪しげな話をしていたこと。お前は確実に何かを知っているはずだ。Takara's face was probing me to see if I'd break, and for a second I was almost unable to say anything, but... I have no idea what you're talking about. I turned to face away from him as I said that. なるほど。まだ飛ぼけるつもりか。では、これに見覚えはあるか? Takara spoke with scorn as he reached into his pocket to grab something. It was the red liquid in the glass vial. I gasped when Takara smirked as if he'd won. Yahari, Omae was Tedu Yodana. Konok Suringa Nande Arunoko. I like to imagine that at this moment. Inoue had told the Shinsuku men what happened, and they're rushing to find us. That's what my brain thinks, anyway. So Takara did take something from Sanan-san's room earlier, and now it was right in front of me. この薬を持ち込めば、伊藤派の連中も私を無限には扱えまい。答えろ、ユキムラ。この薬は一体何なのだ? I... Uh, take it back. We take it back. We taking it back. Kono Shirioniwa. Saibu Koso Shirusarete Inakata Monono. Jinchio Koeta Seme Ryoko Motsu Bakemono no Kotoga Kakarete Atta. I tensed up under Takeda's scrutinizing gaze and guarded hostility. Hostility. And guarded hostility. Moshi Sorega Honto de Areba. I thought you had joined the Shinsengumi because you wanted to protect the Shogunate. 
どちらだろうが構わんこの薬は私を高く売りつけるために利用させてもらうだけだ That's when it became clear to me. I can't let this man take possession of the water of life. With this in mind, I used this moment of distraction while he was in the middle of his monologue. I took out my Kodachi and charged at Takeda. Nani? Takeda tried to parry my strike, but my movements were just a hair faster. I suppose he didn't think I'd attack him. My swing had just barely grazed over the chest of his kimono. Onore, Kisama, Yokumo. Damn, went over the fourth step. Holy shit. He had become visibly frustrated by this, and he swung his sword up to slash downwards. I watched as a blinding flash of light reflected from his blade, and it was swinging down towards me. Ah! I tried to block it, but my arm was gushed open and blood splitted out over the both of us. Takara stood above me, wearing a sadistic ex expression as he smirked gleefully. The gash he just inflicted was slowly but surely beginning to heal itself already. His face froze in surprise. Nanda! Sono karada wa! 私は今確かにお前を切ってそうか貴様があの書に記されていた羅刹とやらか No, I'm He had no intent on listening to me, however, and he grabbed my sleeves and yanked me forward. これはいいお前の傷が治る様を見せれば、羅刹とやらの存在を疑う者はおるまい。あお。さあ来い。名をなすため、せいぜいその力を利用させてもらうぞ。No! I attempted to get away by pushing his hands, but then. やめろ。そこで何をしている。That voice. Iba. What are you doing here? Sakihodo Tonsho ni Ojama Satoki Inoue Sankara Jijo Kikasa de Moratandis Takara upon the side of Iba looked almost deflated, but his, but his petulance grew once more. Mataki Samaka Skuzuku Hitono Jamao Surunoga Skito Mir Sonoteo Hanasina Sai Samonakuba. Samo Nakuba Nanda. Kosurimade! Iba unsheathed his sword with lightning speed and he charged towards Takeda. Takeda saw Iba's attack and he parried it before the two began dueling in front of me. Their blades clashed, each swing met with a sizable force powered by seething anger. So many CSs. Few more slashes were sent relentlessly. Since Iba's skill was far above the level of Takeda's pedigree, the latter started looking out of breath as he was put to, into a corner. Eventually, Iba grabbed my arms and pushed me behind him to protect me from the fray. After peeking behind Iba, Takeda smirked. Waking up the Tonsho de Azgat Tiru Monoda to Kite Tanga. So you Ryu that Tanga. Donna Ryu desu. Oa set a kizuna is shun de naoru. Fukashing in a carada no mochinusida. Ito sanga is an it tata. Shin sangumini a okina himitsu no aruto. Sashizme. あの部屋で行われていた研究と関わりがあるのだろう Neither Iba nor I answered him. But it seemed like Takara was already sure of it. 
He continued to talk without waiting, or even caring for that matter about our responses. Iba seemed unfazed as he responded. Zeevun to Mousou ga oski na yow desu ne. Kenjutsu yori mo gesakubon o kaku hou ga mui te iru no de wa? Dou atte mo shinjitsu o kataru tsumori wa nai ka? Maa ii. He then pointed his katana towards me, and he asked Iba a question. Iba Hachiro. Iba's eyes thinned with contempt. Damare. He didn't like that. Jijitsu it teiru. Sono on nawa. Bakemono da. Yoku miro. Sakihodo kono watashiga waseta katana kizna. Fsanga teiru daro. Then Takara swung his sword again. No! I screamed, but it wasn't Iba that Takara was swinging towards. I heard Iba's screams and the sound of flesh being split apart. Blood had splattered over all of us. Then suddenly, everything went black. Had Iba been hurt? I didn't want to believe it. I slowly cracked my eyes open. In front of me was Iba. He stood upright with eyes bearing an expression of fury and rage unlike anything I'd ever seen. Dark crimson blood was dripping from his sword, and next to his feet was a detached right arm clutching a blade. No! Not all. Even after seeing it in front of me, my brain was having trouble processing what I was looking at. I sensed what seemed like a near murderous conviction thought throughout Iba's aura. It wasn't the Iba I had come to know. Takeda was drenched in the blood, spurting from where his right forearm used to be. He looked like an oni straight from hell. Iba's eyes burned with righteousness, and he kept his blade pointed towards Takeda, who trembled from the loss of his limb and his pride. <laughs> Takeda gritted his teeth and slowly backed off. He put his remaining left hand on t into his chest pocket. As he spoke, the water of life fell onto the floor, along with the documents he'd stolen. He tried to bend down and pick up the bottle, but he slipped. I was about to run up to help him, but Iba grabbed my arm as he scurried as he scurried away indigently. Fukaoi was nigh Hogai. Anokega deva. 
そう長くは持たないでしょう。デアミーバー彼が持ち去ろうとした書類と薬は無事みたいですしね。With shaking fingers, I picked the items up and finally was able to breathe. d a i j o b e s t a k a Anna m i n i a was a little c o a c a t a d e s o A little frightening, Eba. You just sliced a man's arm off. Kegano Yosu a d o d e s k i z o m i s e t e k a s a i I couldn't bear to look at him, and I pulled away my arm to prevent him from seeing it. There was no way I could look him in his, into his eyes, so I kept facing downwards. It's fine. My injury already healed. There's no reason for you to be worried. I didn't want to say it, but. Just as he said, I'm. I'm a. monster. I just couldn't say the last part. I felt myself choke. She did much, Tayo. Anata, no. So much, Kara, no, Kotoa. Suddenly. My eyes widened from hearing him. I looked up. There stood Eba, wearing the same kind smile that hadn't changed since we were children. Moshkashtara, Anatawa. Mo, was it a smatirka moshinema senkedo? Chisai koro. Anatawa nandoka, mise te kremashta. その力は2人だけの秘密だから絶対誰にも見せてはいけないと約束しましたよねああ。That's right. When I was a little girl, I made a promise. One, one I couldn't tell to any of my other friends. But if it was with him, if it was with Hachiro, I knew he was special. I knew I could tell him anything. Anatawa, b a k e m o n o a n k a j a n a i 僕が守りたいと思うたった一人の女の子ですあの頃も今もイーバー I felt a pang of nostalgia and at the same time I felt emotional knowing that I had forgotten about him this whole time I'm so sorry どうして謝るんです Because you remembered me after all these years and I Eva lightly touched my hair いいですよ今思い出してくれたんですから His words radiated with warmth and his kindness made my heart swell I noticed that as he ran his fingers through my hair, they trembled a bit. Eva? I looked up at him and he bit his lip a little. Boku no ken wa karui te. Okita kun ga itte mashita keto. Katana o nigitte iru toki. Onore o sei seru koto ga deki na katta no wa. さっきのが初めてですトシさんたちは今日に来てからずっとあんな気持ちを抱き続けてたんですね何かを守るっていうのはきれい事じゃないんですね
I couldn't say anything, so I just hung my head. The person who had brought this realization to Eva was no one else but me. It was my fault. I don't want you to do anything dangerous. I knew that, to a warrior, these words were as good as dirt. During a Kadayan incident, the Hamaburi Rebellion... Hamaburi? Isn't it Hamaguri? Have I been reading that wrong? I don't know anymore. Or any other time where the warriors had crossed swords with the demons. I had felt this way during all of those battles, but this time it hit me a little differently. After a moment of silence, Eba spoke up. あなたの願いならどんな願いでも叶えてあげたいところですけどその願いだけは聞けませんその願いだけは聞けません。I had a feeling he would say that. 多分僕は大切なものを守るために剣を学び身につけてきたんですから。その。後悔しない。I knew he'd say that too, but even then, you couldn't blame me for making this wish. Please, don't ever let Eva be hurt in battle. Just then. Oi! I've come to rescue you guys! Oh my god, Nagakura. God damn. I heard the footsteps of the warriors approaching from afar. とりあえず、トンショに戻ることにしましょうか。ことの天末を、トシさんにも知らせなきゃいけませんしね。after we told our story, the men of the Shinsengumi went searching for Takeda, but unfortunately, there were no useful hints. He could have drifted off somewhere along the river, or died due to his injury. Or he could have left Kyo altogether. We couldn't let our guard down, but now that he had one arm, he wouldn't be able to hold his sword. The Shinsengumi concluded that even if he were alive, he would never try to get revenge on the Shinsengumi, so they stopped their search for him 